The thing is, the new version of Grok is capable of identifying dangerous requests, but it is proceeding to fulfill them anyway. This is just one of the stories we're going to cover in today's AI recap. What happens when a highly capable AI seems to acknowledge danger, but proceeds to assist anyway? The release of Grok 4 a couple of weeks ago followed a lot of concern on AI safety and recent reports are showing an even worse image. Despite being marketed as the most advanced model in the world, testing has revealed significant vulnerabilities in its safety protocols. Users found Grok 4 providing detailed instructions for synthesizing nerf agents explosive and biological weapons. Even though in its internal reasoning, the model often correctly identified this request as dangerous and illegal, it continued to generate comprehensive technical guidance anyway. This isn't a case of sophisticated jailbreak. It appears to be a fundamental gap Officer, where the model understands the risk, but lacks an effective refusal mechanism. And this behavior extends beyond chemical weapons, encompassing extremist propaganda and deeply concerning responses to queries hinting at self-harm. And this is just highlighting the direct real-world implications when powerful models are deployed without robust, consistent safety guardrails. This recent study is rather interesting as it postulates that AI is actually slowing down experienced coders. And this is what happened. Meteor researchers did a randomized control trial focusing on experienced open source developers, involving 16 experienced developers tracking real issues within their own extensive GitHub repositories. And this is the main difference. Established open source projects demand high quality standards, you know, like implicit requirements for documentation, testing, and stylistic consistency. And developers using frontier AI models like Cursor Pro with Cloud 3.7 may have spent additional time refining AI generated code to meet this specific nuance of the project. This cognitive overhead along with the process of evaluating and correcting AI output appears to have overweighted any raw speed benefits. The results stand in contrast to some AI benchmarks that show impressive productivity gain. However, those benchmarks often rely on self-contained tasks with algorithmic scoring, while this meta study rooted in practical long-form coding challenges. It's just refreshing. Now, the world's most popular chatbot has just been upgraded. ChatGPT has launched an autonomous agent called ChatGPT Agent, which is pretty much their operator on asteroids. In simple terms, this is just a dedicated digital assistant that is capable of completing tasks from start to finish. And it is operating from its own virtual computer. This agent navigates the web, can interact with sites and processes data. It can, for instance, plant a multi-course dinner and source ingredients. It can integrate with external tools like your calendar or email and can utilize all of this context and execute tasks such as summarizing meetings based on recent news, but you retain control. So you can monitor the progress, interrupt or take over at any point and explicit permissions is required for any consequential actions. Unfortunately, it is not available in Germany, so I cannot test it right now. So China is back, but this time with a different startup, and it is Moonshot AI who has unveiled Kimi K2, a one trillion parametric open source model. But this is not your usual LLM. It is designed not to answer, but to act without being a reasoning model. And Kimi K's two benchmarks performance is significant. On SWE Bench Verified, a challenging software engineering test, it achieves 65.8% accuracy. And on Life Code Bench, a uh, realistic code benchmark, Kimi K2 surpassed both DeepSync V3 and GPT-4.1. And these capabilities were enabled by a core innovation, Moonshot's AI novel MoonClip optimizer. And this addresses a significant hurdle in large language model development, the training instability. And by preventing costly crashes, MoonClip could 
fundamentally reshaped the economics of AI training, potentially saving millions in computational costs across the industry. You might recall that memo from Shopify CEO a couple of weeks ago claiming they will become an AI-first company, right? Well, now we finally have an insight on their actual plans. And the e-commerce giant committed significant resources to integrate AI internally, acquiring 3,000 courses licenses with unlimited token spending. But also their legal team were instructed to default to yes when evaluating new AI tools. And this commitment enabled a core innovation, an internal large language model proxy. By connecting to every data source through MCPs or model context protocol servers, this proxy ensures immediate access to otherwise silent information for every employee. How awesome is that? And non-technical sales representatives can now build their own performance auditing tools. A sales engineer manages his entire workflow from a single dashboard pulling real-time context from Salesforce, Slack, and others without opening those applications. And we have to give it to them. They are not merely developing AI for merchants. They are actively cultivating an AI native culture within. Now, let's shift gears because it is time to take a look at all other news you need to know to stay up to date. So the winds of drama reached a new high after Google poached the core team for $2.4 billion just after the $3 billion offer from OpenAI expired. But it is not over for Windsurf, as Cognition acquired the reminder of Windsurf assets and its 250 people team. But the market for AI researchers is still going wild and companies are buying back and forth the most important talents. For instance, two key OpenAI researchers are reportedly joining Meta's new super intelligence lab. And two more senior engineers from Apple's core AI team are joining Meta as well. But Apple is seriously considering an acquisition of Mistral AI, which is valued at over $6 billion and is currently Europe's largest AI startup. And it is easy to see why. Their models are on pair with the biggest US and Chinese labs and continue to expand their portfolio, now including deep research mode for building structure reports and a voice mode for audio input. Anthropic has tightened usage limits for its cloud code service without warning. The sudden restrictions are halting projects for many paying customers. Anthropic acknowledges the problem, but its silence leaves customers unable to plan their work. And that is not all about Anthropic, because Cloud Code now includes an analytics dashboard allowing engineering managers to track team usage and code acceptance rates. It has also released a new AI solution for the financial industry that uses a specialized cloud model to analyze financial markets, and it is connecting directly to real-time data from providers like SIP Global. And for the last update of today, OpenAI is offering $25,000 for a universal jailbreak of its ChatGPT agent, which was recently classified as a high biochemical risk. So if you think you can get into talk, just follow the link below to register. As always, you can find all the links down below and make sure to follow for the latest developments in the AI landscape. Bye.